Hi everyone, it's Roxanne here and I am going to bring you today a fast, easy, fun DIY lavender bath salts. We all need this at the end of the, end of the day, whether it's us or our kids or grandkids, so it's wonderful. I found this recipe in doTERRA's blog book. If you don't have a blog book, what you can do is go on to doTERRA's blog, just type it in, and it's full of all kind of recipes. And they just compiled this one year and brought this book out. So this is where the recipe comes from. But what I do is get a big bag of Epsom salts. I use these a lot because I love taking baths now. Um, but this, I had two bags like this from Costco for about $10. So it's easy and expensive and you can make lots of bath salts and lots of um, DIY projects and even gifts. This is so great to give to people. Uh, what you do is you take one scoop of one cup of the Epsom salts and you pour it into a glass container, never plastic. So use glass or metal. And then you're going to take your lavender which is a favorite of a lot of people. And you're gonna put in five to seven drops. Once you get that in, you're gonna take and stir it around. You can even put the lid on it and start um, shaking it up. And what's great about this is when it's time to use, you can use up to, you can even double, triple, quadruple this recipe if you want it to and keep it in a larger container so that when you are ready to take a bath, you could just take a scoop out of it or just sprinkle some in. My granddaughter likes to just get a scoop herself and sprinkle it in the tub. So it's great for all ages and um, it's easy to enjoy it. Another good thing is that you could put any kind of oil just about that doTERRA has uh, that's relaxing. Whether it be uh, you know cedarwood, Roman chamomile, you could put in something um, for your relaxing your muscles. So there's a great variety of oils you can use and I hope you try this soon and uh, please comment below how well you liked it. 